Hear ye. Hear ye. Alexander Wolcott, the town crier. This is Wolcott speaking. The town crier coming with good news to the microphone. This broadcast is a piece of personal testimony. I have just undergone the memorable experience of witnessing the best moving picture I have ever seen. I can testify that no moving picture ever stirred me as deeply as this one. It is called Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Never be afraid, Chips, that you can't do anything you've made up your mind to. As long as you believe in yourself, you can go as far as you dream. Certainly you will be headmaster if you want to. This is the screenplay that has just been made in England from a story written six years ago this fall by an obscure young Englishman. At that time, he was comparatively unknown. A writer named James Hilton. Now, translated into a screenplay by the same Englishman to whom we owe the unforgettable tragedy called Journey's End. Directed by an American, Sam Wood, who crossed the Atlantic for the purpose, and with the schoolmaster himself superbly embodied by the magnificent young actor named Robert Donat, Hilton's gentle masterpiece has at last found its way to the screen. I approached its preview with deep and legitimate apprehension. I realize, and none better, what havoc some movies can work with books that I have known and loved. I am the more obligated, therefore, to tell you that this time a beautiful and perhaps immortal story has been translated from one medium to another with tenderness and imagination and genius. In a year in which the great nations of the world seem to be choosing partners for a dance of death, this cavalcade of English youth becomes suddenly an almost unbearable reminder of something which in a mad and greedy world may be allowed to perish from the earth. But I am here only to testify that in my own experience, the most moving of all moving pictures is the one called Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Mr. Chips? 